For today's metronome tip, I'd like to talk about a feature available on some of the more advanced metronomes. This is a newer model than I've used in past demos. I've been using this combined metronome and tuner before. This newer model has a feature. There's an extra button right here that wasn't on the other metronome. With this button, I can select a given number of beats, as high as four, but let's take two just for an example. So the metronome is playing two beats, skipping two beats, playing two beats, and skipping two beats, and so on. I like to go a little bit higher, up to four, to test myself. What that lets me do is play a technical passage, start playing with the metronome, then the metronome goes silent for a while, and I hope that when the metronome comes back in, I'll still be matching it. If I'm not, that tells me I'm rushing or dragging slightly when the metronome's not playing. Here's an example. You can tell I rushed just a little bit that last time. I'll try it once again now in a different key. For this example, I use one of the Arbin single tongue exercises. I'm going to let the metronome count two beats and then come in with it. I find that kind of practice easier on a tongued straight ahead piece like that Arbin. On a legato piece, it might actually be a little bit harder. Next, I'll try a legato passage from a Schubert Sonata. Some players don't like using metronomes. They say it makes them play like machines. Well, we're musicians, aren't we? We don't want to play like machines. Our music should have heart and soul and ebb and flow, even in tempo. We want to sometimes make small adjustments in tempo on purpose to create a musical effect. A little bit of, of a tenuto on a note, a little bit of rubato, things like that, that make music come alive. However, I want to be able to play like a machine technically. I want to be able to have that control over myself so that my ebbs and flows in my music come from here or from my heart here, not from here. Not because my fingers are having a little bit of trouble with this cross fingering or whatever and tell me to slow down subconsciously back here somewhere and my body reacts to that. So I want to learn to control that and playing with the machine is the best way to do that. Anyway, I hope you found these tips helpful. Thanks for listening.